What's going on everybody? Dwayne here. So, essentially, you already read the title, so you already know what it is. Alright, this is what I'm calling the Ultimate EOS RP Cinema Rig. Now, I know you can go and get a small rig cage, or you can go and, like, do a bunch of other crazy stuff, but I'm literally using everything that I own on this camera. And you'll find out everything that I'm using in this camera and how I build it right after this intro. So, roll the intro. What we have here is essentially everything that you need to build the ultimate EOS RP cinema rig. In my personal opinion, your usage may vary. All right, so let's get started. First off, we have the RP itself, empty, no battery, no SD card, nothing. Then we got the Ronin SC here. Oh wait, I forgot. Wavy gang. We got the Ronin SC right here. We have the plate that goes onto the Ronin SC, but instead of using what DJI originally gave gives you, I put a quarter twenty with a D uh, bracket on the back of it. So I that way I can. This is way easier. This is a small rig cage. It goes around my Ronin SC. I have a MPF F750. It's a 5200 milliamp hour battery. I have this Power Junkie MPF thermal battery mount and it's USB 3.0. And it has a USB-C port and a micro USB port on it. So that's a plus. And then I got a couple of these little screws. I just screw them on the hill. Whatever, honestly and truly, I feel like putting either side of this. And then I have the dummy battery for my Ronin SC. I got it on Amazon, it was like $25. It is a USB version of it because I didn't feel like looking for the one that was for this. Can't tell you exactly what it is off the top of my head. I just got the one that was USB. And then I have a Boya BYCMW1. It's a wireless mic, so I can capture audio. It comes in this little case right here. This is the receiver. The other end of it is the transmitter. I have another MPF 960, with it, which is a 8,800 milliamp hour battery. HDMI cable, mini HDMI to full size HDMI, and then I have this monitor, the Viltrox DC72. I use this monitor a lot, in all honesty. Contemplating on getting the Ninja V, we'll see how that go. Let's get this set up real quick so I can show you exactly what it looks like once it's put together. Oh, and I forgot my RF3518. Now, I could have used a RF to EF adapter and then put the Sigma 18 to 30, 18 to 35, I think it's a 1.8, 2.8 lens on this, but I would have had to get a small rig mount to be able to put on this and some counterweights to put on it to be able to adapt that lens to this camera. But I mean, adapt that, yeah, to the Ronin. You get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so let's put this boy together real quick so you can see. I'm surprised ain't nobody did this yet. I mean, I know a lot of people use like a Crane 2S or they use something way heavier or they use, just use a Ronin S to be able to do all of this. Me personally, I chose to do it this way because it's something that I already use and already have. I mean, why get something more expensive? Gear helps you make what you create, but it's not always everything, if you know what I mean. This thing always do this. Like, it's always locked up to where I cannot get it to stay properly. Or not stay, it always lock up, and I can never get this thing to unlock sometimes. 
That's why I always set it up before I go do anything I need to do. Just in case. And boom, it go on perfectly fine, G. And then put it where I need to put it. It's right here. I don't have the little screw thing that go into this to tell you where you left it at. I lost it somehow, but I mean, that's fine. Boom. Forgot to put the battery in the, <laughs> in the camera. Let's just be happy I ain't at a shoot for real. So if I wanted to plug a monitor on the back of this, I'd take this, unscrew it. Like I could literally rotate this monitor three, 360 degrees if I wanted to. If I need this to be closer to the camera, far away from the camera, whatever, this arm, this little itty bitty $12, I think it was $12, $10 arm can literally hold my monitor on here. And let's say, for instance, my Ronin SC Don. For some reason, I'm filming all day with this. I could literally take another USB-C cable and plug it into this. Now, cable management shouldn't be that hard. Just take a couple Velcro ties and then mount it onto your uh, arm back here. Turn your camera on. It's already on. Plug your NPF battery into the back of your monitor. Plug your HDMI cable into your monitor. It don't matter which way you plug it in. I mean, as long as it's out the way of the motors. Another thing that you wanna be mindful is about this is it is kinda of heavy, but I mean, at the same time, it's fine because I literally use this to shoot this video. There were a lot of limitations with this video. I called the client, told him, hey, make sure we can film here. He was like, all right, I did. The manager said, no, nah, y'all can't film here. And then my client said, I called up here yesterday and they told me I could. So he said, all right, y'all can film here, but y'all can't film here. Just like trying not to get other people in it, no logos, nothing like that. I mean, is the dude really gonna be on the internet? Is he really gonna be watching this? I drove all the way up to Tampa to shoot this and it was no way in the world I wasn't going into that gym and not shooting. And you should be able to tell what place I'm talking about based off of the video. If you can't, then I apologize. It was perfectly fine the whole time. You see these little arms? This is a monster of a setup, if I do say so myself, for such a small camera. If you know what I mean. I posted this in like one of those Facebook groups that I'm a part of. And a lot of people was like, hey, I need a link. I need a link. Like, how did I not think of this? It's just crazy how something so small can be so good. <laughs> That'd be all for this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.